Joshua washes the bowl, the seventh story from the gateless gate written by Paul Trips from the Zen flesh, Zen bones. Everything you become observant is the greatest happiness, is the greatest poetry, is the greatest literature. You become the Rashtra Kavi. You will become a literary, a literary pundit. You are a Rishi. The moment you see like a Japanese child, look at the person and he can draw exactly the eye and the nose and the height and weight, everything together. You look at a person, you don't even sometimes if you look at a person, you can hear the smell itself, you can understand. What kind of person it is like the Chakurugi, they can hear, you can smell 200 kilometers, you can smell if the lion is coming hungry. The lion is coming hungry, then you better hide. You can smell 200 kilometers, if you know the lion is not hungry, you can sit because the lion can walk in front of you, he will not disturb you. Such was the power. Have you eaten your rice porridge? You go to the doctor say, doctor, Teach me, doctor, give me medicine. If you go to a Zen master, he'll ask you, have you eaten your porridge? Means, did you find that the cause and the effect? What was the cause of your diabetes? What was the cause of your gastric? What was the cause of your thyroid? What was the cause of your piles? What was the cause of your cancer? What was the cause of your heart problems? Headache? Call it by different, different names. Have, did you ever thought you were a slave from one slavery to another slavery? You have killed a person, you've gone to the jail. You did not like the jail, so you, you're thinking of killing a, a much bigger person so that you can go to a much higher jail. One jail to another one jail, you are still a criminal. You are still a criminal. You are a slaved criminal. You have become sick. You must find out why you became sick. Because you have not taken the pillows and kept it in sunlight every day. Pillows and bed sheets and the bed should be every day outside. Because from there the disease starts. You have forgotten that you, have, you cannot eat the refined sugar. White sugar is white poison, Mahatma Gandhi said. The, some, some people should not be allowed in the house. Refined sugar should not be allowed in the house. They are robbers. It kills you. Especially for thyroid, for diabetes, or call it by any name. Even for cancer, they say, stop white sugar. And within one week, you can see, you do not have to go for chemotherapy. White sugar, refined white sugar. You can have Bella, you can have Bella, Bella means that is jaggery. You can have um, honey, but not refined one. And for what is the cause of your diabetes? And you go to the doctor. You have not even looked. Before going to the doctor, did you clean your house? Did you throw a bunch of rock salt into every corner of the... Did you take a bath of rock salt? Did you brush your teeth with rock salt? Did you clean the vessels with rock salt? After cleaning, after taking a bath, only you have the right to go and meet the master. You go to the doctor and doctor says, Okay, stop rice eating. Have... Chapati made out of wheat and chapati is the greatest cause of all the diabetes, all the diseases, the wheat, you stop the wheat, wheat and refined sugar should not be allowed inside the house, you stop your wheat products, wheat products comes in the bread, in the biscuits, in the sweet, white sugar, you, you might stop the white sugar which is refined sugar but you find that white sugar in all the sweets, in the bread, in the Varieties. You can see it in the pizzas, in, in the bread, in the biscuits, that wheat. Stop it. And you have understood. You have become enlightened. You have first time started looking into you. I what Ramana Maharshi said, ask who am I? First time you understood a philosophy, a truth. A Sanskriti which you have practiced and you have understood if you are a Christian you understand Jesus says, Jesus Christ said knock and the door shall be open and these monkeys go every Sunday to the church monkeys goes when you go as an enlightened person to the church you will not enter the church without cleaning the outside area you will have the pants and shirt totally dirty because you are cleaned up then you don't even have to sit on the on the Desk and bench because father is giving a, a lecture, father is giving a sermon. Your sermon has already been done outside. 
you are only going there to meditate. Like how you go to the temple. You have got no right to enter the temple if you have not made your house a temple by cleaning your house. Which is house? The body. You have stopped your refined white sugar. Your wheat products. You drink your lot of water. To drink a lot of water, you force the water retention will happen. You have to work hard. And you can see the first sweat comes. And the first sweat comes, you will be forced to drink water. That cleanses. That became a beautiful heaven in the body. You have created a temple in your body. Then you became a temple in the house because you know you will clean the house by putting the pillows every day outside. The first disease is your pillow. And then you can enter any temple. The monk replied, I have eaten. Well, Joshua asked, have you eaten your rice porch? And the monk replied, I have eaten. Joshua said, then you ha had better wash your bowl. <laughs> At that moment, the monk was enlightened. The moment Joshua said, if you have eaten, wash your bowl means you finish it up here. Do not tell anybody. Do not be a preacher. What you have eaten, don't go outside and say, I have eaten from the mo from the, the temple. I know the temple priest. Shut the bloody mouth and silently go out and then tell a thousand people, I have been able to observe. There is cleanliness next to godliness in that monastery. I have observed there is a rainwater harvesting and there is a drip irrigation. So much water they have collected, there is no water problem. Not a single part in the temple, in the ashram, in the monastery, there is electricity. Everything is utilized by the solar wind energy. And there is medicinal plants growing. Every part, every drop of water has been utilized. Every drop of the light of the sunlight has been utilized. <laughs> then you better wash your bowl. Means, once you understood, you don't go and preach. You don't write a book. You don't write kavita, poet. Poem, poetry, you just go and then you put it into practice in your house. And you put it in practice, your house is the same like other houses, thousands of houses. Because one lamp you light in your house, the same light you give to another lamp outside. Nothing is lost, but you can see Katul in the Pelagin and Tamasoma Jodir from darkness to light. Then you had better wash your bowl. The monk was a little observant. He understood. Better wash. That's all the philosophy. That is all the Bhagavad Gita. The Ramayana, the Purana, the Vedas, the Bible. The... And the Quran. Everything involved in this one. Did you wash your bowl? At that moment, the monk was enlightened. You also are an enlightened being. The only difference means... You have become a slave. Come out of the slavery. Together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. Joshua washes the bowl.